My name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup Yarn Art, a soft-spoken video journal where I play with yarn and share my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. If there's anything you'd like to hear me talk about, please leave a comment to let me know. So I have been working on the thunderclap shawl just a bit. I finished up the gray yarn, the Oink Pigments Suit Suit, and I am now working on using up the Creep It Reel. I do have to admit, I am getting slightly bored. You know, I want to do other things. I want to be finished with this show. You know, it's not that I don't want to finish it, it's that I want it to already be finished. I want to have it already. So... You know, it's... I'm excited for it to be done, and I'm excited for the next projects. I have to work on. But I'm going to finish it. I'm committed. Um, once my yarn comes in for the sorrel sweater, I will be shifting focus to that. I am doing the knit along for it. Um, but the yarn hasn't even shipped yet. So, for now, I still have this to work on. And that's what I'll do. actually kind of leads into my first topic that I want to talk about, uh, which is knitting with texture. You know, stitch textures and visual textures and all of that. Um, I was at a virtual knitting meetup recently, um, and the group uh, running that meetup is currently focused on a lace knit along. And, you know, they talked to me. They like ask me, you know, well, why, why aren't you doing this lace knit along? You know, why, why don't you want to do it? And I told them I don't like doing lace. I don't find it fun. And you know, they were like, really, really like asking. Oh, why don't you like lace? What about it? Don't you like? Is it this? Is it that? It's, it's just... It's kind of everything. Um... About lace, you know. And then they ask, well, what, what, what do you like to do if you don't like lace? What kind, what kind of things do you like to knit? And I told them, I like texture. Cables are a good example of that. Um, the suit suit section is a good example of that on this shawl. It's a garter rib. Really interesting texture. Um, yeah, it has a really interesting feel to run my fingers over, to look at. Um,
you know, I like that kind of stuff. I like playing with color, you know, variegated yarns and color combinations. I like the idea of color work. Um, didn't really work out this time and I don't have a lot of experience doing it. Um, but I like the idea of it. You know, to, to me, color work kind of combines texture and color play. It's more of a visual texture than anything, especially on the wrong side, but you know, it is kind of playing with texture in a slightly different way. Um, and you could argue that lace is playing with texture, but I don't like having big visible holes in the fabric that I make. I don't, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the possibility of it getting caught on something or putting my finger through it. I don't really like that. Um, you know, I've done a couple of lace things. And I just, I just don't like fabric with big holes in it. It's not my thing. It's part of why I don't like crochet cables, because there wind up being big visible holes in the fabric. But I like texture, I like playing with different kinds of ribbing. Um, garter stitch, garter rib, different stitch patterns, moss stitch, seed stitch, linen stitch, you know, all of these different stitch textures. I'll give a different feel to the fabric, different look, different vibe. Um, you know, I like the way a different texture changes the overall feeling of a piece. You know, a mostly stockinette sweater has a different feeling, you know, emotionally, not just texturally, than a seed stitch sweater would. You know, I like playing with those feelings and those differences. Now, even the same textural elements, if you combine them differently, they can give different feelings. You can have two all over cable sweaters, and one can look very feminine, and the other can look very masculine. For example, you know, and they can have completely different feelings, even though theoretically they're very similar in terms of technique and texture. Um, you know, I like that. I like the idea of working with that, that kind of thing. So, it's 
something I want to do more of. Um, the sorrel sweater will be really good for that with the dip stitches. Um, you know, I have several patterns in my queue that play with that very nicely, um, which I'm looking forward to. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to the different feeling of knitting them, working them up, different feeling of the finished fabrics, that kind of thing. Let's not drop any stitches after we've come so far. And the idea of texture leads into the next thing I want to talk about, which is kind of controversial. Depending on who you ask. And that is um, knitted socks versus crochet socks. And kind of my history with socks, because one of the next few projects that I'm planning to make is a pair of socks. I have a few pairs of socks in the queue. Um, but my first pair of socks, my very, very first pair of socks were crochet. This was during the few years after I learned how to crochet when I wasn't knitting at all and I wanted to make socks. So I looked up how to crochet socks. They were worst weight acrylic and not just acrylic, Red Heart Super Saver. So these were just Yarn controversy socks. Insofar as there are yarn controversies. They're, they're pretty good for slippers. You know, I like using them for that. I couldn't really intend them to be daily wear socks. I knew they were going to be too thick. But I wanted to make socks. So I made those. Um, for a while those were the only socks I had made. Then I picked knitting back up and I wanted to make more socks. So I learned to knit socks. Um, toe up with the German short row heel. Not a German short row toe. Just a German short row heel. Um, and I played with yarn weight and stitch count and, you know, figured out how to make them the right size. So one of my first pairs of knitted socks is with another worship weight acrylic yarn. They're too big. They fall off my feet. And they're too short for my preference. Um, but they're socks. Um, then I moved on to decay weight socks. I worked on you know, getting the right stitch count, getting the right length, getting the heel in the right place. Um, I wasn't using patterns. I watched video tutorials 
on through my short row heels and you know the making the toe and all that and instead of following a pattern I just got the technique down and figured out all the numbers myself figured out you know what to do and I just improvised all of these socks um you know, none of them are quite perfect. Uh, the best pair, the bind off is too tight. So I, w I wind up wearing them with the ribbed cuff folded down. They fit pretty okay. And I wear them when my feet are really cold, wear them to sleep that kind of thing. Um, the yarn was terrible. I hated it so much. And I will never use it again. But the socks, I like the socks. I like the socks that I got out of it. Um, I have no plans to crochet more socks, although I would kind of like to just as an experiment in seeing if I can make them better than the ones that I made previously. You know, see if I can make a slightly more wearable pair of crochet socks. Because I like the idea of them. I like, I like the things that you can do with a crochet sock that you couldn't necessarily with a knitted sock. The, the fabric is more stable so you can make you know more of a slipper, more of a slightly structured sock than you could with a knitted sock. Um, you know more dimensionally stable rather than stretchy. So I guess I'm and I guess it's kind of more like a slipper but I just I want to I want to play with crocheted socks the way that I did with the knitted socks. Because I found playing with the knitted socks, playing the stitch count, the foot length, the cuff length, all that, I found that really interesting and creatively inspiring. And I want to do more of it. Maybe one of these days I'll get around to doing it. Um, I guess really my theme is improvise more because doing that playing with the socks, that's improvising. Really would like to do a lot more of that. Keep keep saying it. Eventually I'll get around to it, I think. And there was a good while there where I did nothing but socks. That was fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoy making socks. Knitted crochet. I just enjoy making socks. Seriously, no dropping stitches. Stop it. I think the end of that row. That is where I shall leave you for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Thank you.